I am a father of two. And as many parents, I only have on-the-job training. <laughs> <laughs> but I have a benefit. My oldest one, Manuel, he is nine years old, and he is a great teacher. He has been showing me the path to learn how to be more, more attentive, more patient with him, more encouraging, more challenging to him, and I want to give something back to him that lasts forever. When you think about something that I can give to my son that lasts forever, money certainly is not the answer. <laughs> I can really think in two things. One is education, and the other one is self-confidence. I'm not going to talk about education today. I want to talk about how to gain self-confidence if you are a little kid, a nine-years-old kid, my son. It's just simple. You just need to apply two skills, just two. The first skill is frustration management. When I asked my son a couple of days ago, hey, do you know what frustration is? He said, sure, I know what is that. What a silly question is that? I said, okay, tell me, what is frustration according to you? Then he took a couple of minutes and said, well, no, I don't know, I heard the word, but I have no idea what is frustration. <laughs> well, you know what? You know what is frustration because you feel it every day or almost every day. When somebody, you feel that somebody is not listening to you or when something that happens is not exactly happening the way you want, that pain in your stomach, that little something that wants to, that, that makes you do, mm, why this guy is not doing, ex or playing with me or doing this way the way I want it. That, my friend, is frustration. That thing, that physical sensation in your stomach. You just need to do two things. One is name it. Just say, I feel angry. I feel pain in my stomach. I feel anxious. And then breathe. Breathe slowly. If you need to go to the bathroom, go to the bathroom or just step outside of the room and breathe. That will give you the opportunity to feel that sensation. The second skill is problem solving. I can tell you right now, you will have the opportunities to solve as many problems as you want because life is full of problems. Problems with your mom, problems with me, problems at school, with your friends, with everything. And problems is just something that you see every day. Yesterday, when your mom asked you to put the garbage out, and you say, mom, today is not the day for garbage because it was a long weekend and everything is the next day. And she said, I don't care. You need to put the garbage out because I'm telling you to. That is a problem, and you need to, to find a way to solve it. It's very simple. The first thing you have to do is name it. Name whatever is making you uncomfortable. In a very simple way, just simple words. One sentence, three, four words if you want, just name it. Once you name it, find some options to fix the problem. You can find options, options by yourself, but if you have no so many options coming to your mind, then dad and mom can be very handy on that. You can go to them and say, hey, I have this problem. I don't know how to solve it. We can help with that. At least give you a few ideas. Then you just need to try. Try one, try the first one and then evaluate it. If you feel exactly the same uncomfortable situation or you feel the problem goes away. If you feel the problem goes away, fine, you are all set, you solve the problem. If not, you just need to try the second option or find another option and try it. 
It's just that simple. Frustration management is what you feel here in your stomach, and you need to breathe. You just need to calm down. And then, understand exactly what is making you uncomfortable. Sometimes it's more than one problem what is making you feel uncomfortable. So you, you just need to make it in a simple way. Just one sentence. That, my friend, will help to face the life forever. And if you practice those two skills, I can guarantee that you build enough confidence in yourself to go through the life. That is a little something for you from me.